Adding a blog post to your website is a great way to showcase case studies on your repairs, demonstrate your expertise, connect with your community, and get more traction from Google. Your blog can also act as a foundation for an email newsletter, social media posts, and increased search results. Who really reads an Autobody Shop's blog? Well, let's address this right up front. Most people aren't going to seek out and read through the various blog posts on your website for fun. But there are two answers here. And the first is that yes, people will read your blog posts if they provide answers to their questions. And if you think about it, most internet searches and questions, uh, most internet searches are questions of some sort. So if someone enters Ford F-150 aluminum body repair, what they're really asking is a question, who can repair my aluminum body F-150? So if you have a blog post on your site about Ford F-150 aluminum repair, do you see how that might be better than simply having a single bullet on your, your services page that shows aluminum repairs? Well, Google and Bing sure do see the difference. So one big reason for creating blog posts is to give the search engines relevant pages to present in their search results. We'll get into that in more detail, but your blog posts are primarily for people doing searches, and most people won't simply come to your homepage and start searching around for your blog posts. Blog posts educate prospects about your services. Using that Ford F-150 example, you could create a blog post to explain your experience working on aluminum bodies, why you need separate facilities and special tools for those repairs, how your body shop is part of the Ford Certified Collision Network, and so on. You'd include pictures of Ford trucks, logos, certifications, and you know things like that. So let's say a prospect is comparing your shop to a competitor because they need repairs on their aluminum Ford. Your competitor has a simple services page that lists everything they do, and aluminum repair is just a little bullet point, while your site has a page all about aluminum repair and your Ford certification. So who do you think they're more likely to choose for their repair? Well, all else being equal, it's gonna be you. Now, blog posts are a great way to share news about your shop. Now, maybe you're thinking your shop doesn't really have any news, but if you dig deeper, you can probably come up with some topics. So here's some ideas to get you started. New hires and promotions. So when you bring on new hires, get a good photo of them, write up a blurb about them, and explain what they'll be doing in the shop, along with any relevant experience they may have. This also gives customers insight into your, the different positions in your facility, and once the post is ready, share it to your social media pages and encourage them to do the same if they want. Facility upgrades is another topic. Did you install a new paint booth? Surely you have tons of before and after photos showing how the installation crew made a huge mess in the process, but after that you had an amazing new booth and, and vestibule, vestibule. So these make for great blog posts because it shows your customers you're investing in the latest equipment and the same goes for any other types of upgrades, whether it's to the lobby and waiting area or outdoor signage or new tools. But always explain how these upgrades are going to help your customers get better repairs. Another topic is certifications and training. If you add or renew your certifications, create a blog post about it. Maybe you just got your iCar Gold Class certification or like a Hyundai Audi or Tesla certification. Or you send a team member to special training for painting or welding or whatever. You know, this should all be posted and shared to your website, to your blog. Seasonal topics are another item you can write about. You know, each season, each season brings its own driving hazards and you should write about them. You know, spring brings storms, including hail damage, and having a blog post on hand and then sharing it on social media, say the day after a major storm, is a really good way to get people to think of your shop for their repair. Um, summer brings more travel in, in general and, and more accidents with it. So buckled roads, rock chips, potholes, they all wreak havoc on your customer's car. So if you're, you're standalone detailing services, if you offer those, summer's the perfect time to promote that. In the fall, in many parts of the country, we see lots of deer jumping out in front of cars, as well as you know, large tractors during harvest time, uh, school buses, things like that to look out for. And then finally, winter snow and ice is not kind to drivers. 
create posts about each of these seasonal topics and any others you can think of and share them at the appropriate times. You know, another topic, charity or community events. If you participate as a company in local events, you can and should create blog posts about them. For example, if some of your employees help in a community cleanup event, you'd want to write about the event and link back to the event website if there is one. Um, if you're sponsoring a little league team, do a write up about the team, get some pictures and any signage that you can that shows your logo. If your shop gives away a car at Christmas time, that should definitely be posted on your blog. If there are organizations that you help, they're excellent to include. Um, continuing education or other events. If you host continuing ed classes for insurance agents, for example, be sure to get photos of the event, um, get an overview of the course, like the content from the facilitator or instructor. Write this up and explain how and why these courses are important for agents and policyholders and ultimately good for your customers. So blogging brings traffic to your body shop's website. Most people who come to your website don't come in through the front door or, or in other words, your homepage. Instead, let's think about how most people find your website and that is through a Google search or a web search. They're going to enter a phrase such as paintless dent repair in the name of your city, Phoenix, wherever you are. And the Google results are probably going to show any paid ads first, and then a little mini map with a few local shops, and then the organic or non-paid results. The organic, show, the organic results show the most detailed info for the person's search. So if you have a blog post or page on your website specifically about PDR, that's likely the one that's Google is going to display and the user will probably click the link to that result. The more blog posts you have, the more links Google can show to people and, and the more relevant these links can be, which brings traffic to your website, gets prospects to at least consider you for their repairs. Your blog can also serve as the foundation of your marketing. There are tons of little marketing tactics that a business can use, but without an overall strategy, Tactics don't, be, don't do much. Your blog can form the foundation of the strategy and serve as a starting point to get your message out to your audience. So what I'm referring to here is known as content marketing, which should be part of any Auto Body Shop's SEO plan. Here's a strategy you could use. Think of some common questions your customers ask and write a blog post that includes comprehensive detailed answers. Once that's done and posted to your website, you can move on to some of these tactics and spread the word. So one of those tactics, YouTube or other video channels. Record yourself or have someone do it for you while you read or paraphrase the post that you, uh, that you created. This can be uploaded to YouTube, Vimeo, Facebook, Instagram, or other services in, in rough form, or if you have the capability, you can edit the video and fine tune it to add graphics, cuts, better audio, and so on. That finished video can then be you know, embedded into your blog post on the website. You can share it on social media. Uh, you could add it to an email newsletter. Um, anywhere you can post it, post it, share it. So your blog post lives on your website, but you do have to share it if you want it to be seen. So if you have social media pages for your shop, Share the blog post URL on your social networks, you know, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, any others you might use. If you've mentioned any people or businesses in your post, consider tagging them so they can help share. Also, while there aren't technically social media sites, while, while these aren't technically social media sites, you can also share your links to Google, your Google business profile. That, that used to be called Google My Business and like a Yelp page. Now, I also want to mention email newsletters. An email newsletter can be a nice way to stay in touch with your customer base. For general collision repair, customers aren't going to be eagerly awaiting your next email but it is a way to stay top of mind with them. And if you offer other services such as detailing, you can use email as a way to send offers for those services. And if you have enough to include in a newsletter, 
Can I add in a personal note along with you know snippets of recent posts you've written, um, a blurb about an equipment upgrade or new hire, and then link back to the full blog post. Another option is to simply include the full blog post in the email, but it can be beneficial to get people back to your website. And the last thing I want to mention, backlinks. If you mention other companies, groups, or individuals in your posts, be sure to let them know. Many times they will share it with their audiences or link to it from their own websites. And it certainly can't hurt to help them or to, to ask them to do it for you. So all the tactics I mentioned serve to funnel people back to the blog post on your website with the ultimate intention of getting people to consider you for their repairs. Your blog can help educate your prospects and customers about the services you provide and show them why you are a great choice among the other shops in your area. It also gives you a foundation for your content marketing plan to get the word out. So blogging is a commitment and the amount of work that goes into it should not be understated. The good news is that you don't have to go it alone. A good marketing partner can write and promote the blog posts for you. And all you have to do is check them over before they go live. So thanks for listening. You know, if you'd like to talk about blogging for your collision repair shop, please get in touch. Thanks. Hey, I'm Jason Ferguson, and I want to help you market your auto body or collision repair business. If you like what you see here, please subscribe and find out more about our digital marketing services at Conspicuous Digital. Thanks a lot for watching.